the process of creating the sprint backlog differs from team to team and from project to project, but many core concepts remain the same. The sprint velocity is one of the most important figures used when creating the sprint backlog. Velocity refers to the average number of story points that a team can complete within a sprint. New teams and projects will lack a historical velocity as they have no completed previous sprints with any number of stories. However, as teams work together, they build a history of completed sprints. Teams can then use this history to calculate an average of how many story points they've been able to finish in each sprint. Teams can then use this velocity metric to determine how many stories they should be able to finish in future sprints. The sprint backlog should contain approximately the same number of story points as the sprint velocity for the team. Since story points may vary per story, it allows the team to fill the sprint backlog with either many small stories or fewer large stories. The sprint velocity should gradually increase as the scrum team improve their processes, no matter if the story points come from large or small stories. In addition to velocity, teams must consider story dependencies when creating the sprint backlog. A dependency is a story that must be finished before another story can begin work. For example, an inventory management system must have a way to enter inventory before it can be updated. In this case, the update functionality depends on the entry functionality already being complete. The Scrum team must analyse a project to determine where these dependencies are. Dependence should, dependencies should be incorporated into the sprint backlog of earlier sprints in the project to allow for more time to complete related functionality. Besides velocity and dependencies, teams must examine their availability for the sprint. Not all team members are available for every sprint at full capacity. Team members take time off work, they go on holiday, they get sick. They may miss some time for any number of reasons. Because of this time taken from the sprint, the scrum team must determine whether they should reduce the expected velocity for the sprint. Especially if a holiday falls during a sprint, many team members may expect to be out for a day or more. Without the full team present for the entire duration of the sprint, the team will likely not operate at full capacity. When planning the sprint backlog, teams must take on fewer story points to accommodate this reduction in capacity.